this servant has been the poster child of this character needs a buff badly for a very long time. With CL being released, it's an even bigger issue because now her unique skill is there is a better version on a new character. This is as if um, Summer BB's card lock got power crept and instead of giving uh, however many stars per turn, it gave like 50% battery to everyone in the party every turn. Like some dumb shit like that. It's like, well, fuck, now we got to change this one. Unfortunately, Bunny Toria has already gotten her card skill buffed. But I don't think it's that bad of a thing based on how they did this buff. Um, Lasagna wants, like, this is how I'm thinking it. Lasagna wants uh, Ruler Artoria to be multi-core specific. And I do notice this when I use CL that there are times, it's like, especially when the carding situation is not great. Uh, I mentioned this in the CL video, but basically if the enemy is in the right corner here, instead of here or here, you're kind of screwed with CL because you have to use your, you're going to have to use your MP on something with very low HP instead of the boss. Bunny Toria can kind of mitigate that, but there is definitely still going to be some RNG to, tied to it. All right, let's get started. First off, the elephant in the room for her, her base attack is very, very low. The reason behind this is she has so much goddamn attack in her kit. Like, what is it? 30% here. And this is the skill that got buffed, but it's 40% there. Uh, and possibility of them being double stacked, although not a good possibility. I wanna clarify, not the best. Um, yeah, also there's just some awkwardness that goes in with using her for buster farming that like really kind of like makes you want to do multi-core over normal buster farming. But again, we'll get into that later. Uh, like I said, low base attack, HP, one of the highest in the fucking game. I, tr I think Jinnico is the only thing that even can touch this. Yeah, Jinnico has 900 HP more than Bunny Toria. But Bunny Toria is a ruler. She's a ruler that's naturally tanky. So all her attack stat went to her HP to make it so she can uh, just tank face cards more. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a kit that would want her to be like this tanky. Kind of doesn't. She would probably prefer having a lot more attack, but it is what it is at this point. Star gen and st uh, star weight, normal, what I'd say, saber numbers, I think. MP charge 0.57% with honestly decent hit counts across the board. She crits on this arts card. It's going to do really good refund uh the quick cards again they're four hit quick so they should do fairly well and buster card we don't care about star gen that much extra tax just gonna be okay um this is only slightly above 50 percent, and this is only 10 percent. i wouldn't don't expect miracles from this and yes there we go First skill, this is where the anti-synergy with buster farming like comes into play. 40% uh, battery, 30% attack on a six turn cooldown. But the attack is delayed like Ishtar's. The issue comes that this is tied to our battery along with the full turn of dodge, by the way. There's a big issue with this being tied to the battery because you'd want this attack buff for turns two and three. Unless you're like, unless you're popping a bitch battery on turn one, that's not happening. You would literally have to be black rail looping with uh, Oberon, at least one Oberon to make this even possible. Um, 
And the other issue with that is she does not refund 30 offer MP to work with Oberon like that. If I'm not mistaken, it's only 20. Yeah. So unless she has charge per turn or gets charge per turn, black red looping is outside of her capabilities. That is something that they could do in the future, though. For this buff, like, if they give her a charge per turn, it actually does solve the issue completely. Uh, you'll be able to pop this on turn two and be able to black trail loop. Which... Honestly, at this point, I think she does need... Because this is not including the buff. And it's pretty weak damage. Like, people say Koyan Dark hits like a wet noodle. She hits the exact same hard as Koyan Dark. Or how Koyan Dark used to hit before the cooldown reduction stuff. She would still want the cooldown reduction just in case. Like, if she had a chance of Black Rail looping, it's definitely now over um before like before uh ninth anniversary they'll still want this but she's also gonna want this too second skill it was already buffed what it was before she just it was a normal it was a normal um reshuffle like the uh mages mystic code it was basically the same thing, but you gave the party 50% crit damage. When they buffed it, you got to choose what character did not get cards and then shuffle the, the deck. Party crit damage, uh, it's still 50% uh, for three turns. And then you gave the party MP generate for one turn. AOE, and you reduce the cooldown by one. So with school skill cooldown reduction, technically you can pop this twice in the same turn. Um, huh. I actually don't know if if you double stack this, you can force whoever to have the cards you want. Because it doesn't say that there's a restriction on this, but currently I'm not able to test this because I only have Bunny Toria on my main account. But that would be something I'd want to test in the future if she can do a pseudo CO to, but in specifically for multi core, this would come into play because then you can choose what character to really get the cards and then you get 100% crit damage for three turns along with 60% here mm. that that honestly would just be a node thing to determine whether or not you'd even need something like that but you would output like pretty decent damage that turn i, d I just don't know the cooldown situation what it would actually be like Okay, third skill is what got buffed, but unfortunately, uh, let's refresh it real quick. Okay. Um, terrible ass timing for this. Uh, let's wait until it's better. Okay, funny. Literally, as I was about to start editing CL, that's when this came back up. Like, I literally caught it like the actual minute they were uh, fixing this awesome so what they did for the buff her before it was 40 percent attack for three turns for herself along with star weight 600 percent now the attack buff is aoe which gives more reason for her to want to be a multi-core farmer um just because now she's giving a 40 percent attack buff and a 50 percent crit buff along with an mp game buff uh, for the entire party, which I think this is the highest charisma in the game. If I'm not mistaken, 
uh yeah like literally this is equal to a double stacked charisma with bitch buffs if you're able to double stack this this is a lot for the party like a lot of attack uh like that's what she doesn't lack it's just unfortunate that the other 30 percent is locked behind uh whether she can black roll loop or not all right other thing they added 30 percent buster buff for three turns good she did need a card buff that wasn't tied to her mp it also means that when she does double stack this it's even more value uh madras a 20 debuff resistance and territory creation b for eight percent arts up i already said that this was something you'd want but not something you need first uh mana loading she only has a 40 percent battery so unless you want over on out in front anyway you need to at least unlock this um it is a big ask but i tomorrow's video is like looking at what serving coin changes could possibly be happening um so getting two of these appends is not going to be as daunting as it was before it's not hit bond 14 for mp1 uh it's looking like you might be able to snag a second append before you even go into bond 11. like at bond 10 you actually unlock two appends or you get enough points to unlock the second append but again that depends on how um lasagna wants to change seven coins uh other three uh you don't need them uh yeah again lower base stats makes an extra attack do less damage and especially because she has like low low base attack like this extra attack is not going to do that much damage like yes good that she has as much attack as she does but it still would have been better if she had higher base attack all right mp four hit aoe buster defense pierce um it's not a buff it is part of the mp so cannot be stopped with buff buff block refunds 20 percent gauge and then we have this this ugh. quick arts buster buffs activates before damage this mp unfortunately i believe suffers from noodle syndrome uh it did not do much damage um I don't even know this if this is actually accounting for the attack buff or if this is accounting for the buster buff if it is oh my god she needs a buff she needs a buff another buff so badly ain't no way this is actually including the buster buff There is no shot her damage was actually that much, like significantly lower than Samakad. If that's true, she definitely needs an MP buff. Like, it, yeah, no. Like, you can see it right here. Like, with the 30% attacks, like, her damage, like, jumps up. yeah no i i truly think the best way to buff her up now is make this 30 and just an mp damage upgrade because then she's able to black girl loop and then the, all her kit just works so much better for single core farming he actually hits the perfect number for oberon as well uh hmm or not the perfect number, but she hits damn close to where she needs to be. And you're a, you'll actually be able to do um, black rail looping with her by popping her own battery. She's at 60. Uh, 
uh, one bitch battery, you're at 110 MP, you're at 20. Uh, another bitch battery, you're at uh, 70. Her own battery again, she'd be at, oh, sorry. I was saying 30. Um, her own battery would bring her back up to... Uh, 130? 130. Oh, no, no, 120. Uh, she would MP again. You'd actually have the attack buff. Uh, you'd be at 30. And then you just pop Oberon's all this shit on Bunny Toria. And she'd be able to... But she'd be Black Rail looping. But yeah, if this is not including the Buster buff... Then I would say she MP buff isn't the biggest thing. But if this is including the black the buster buff, why why does she have actual four star damage? Like Johanna, I get. Johanna makes sense. She has two traits. She has two anti-traits. It makes sense why her base damage would be lower. Not Bunny Toria. She does not have traits. It is just raw attack. Unless you're fighting man attribute, you're not even going to see any kind of trait, but, uh, trait damage from Buddy Toria. And that's from Bitch, not even herself. Yeah, I, I think MP upgrade with this being changed to 30 is just literally all she needs. And then she, she's doing really good after that. If there are, like, use our competition. Amakusa, Amakusa isn't a farmer. Matt's the level. He's a ruler, so she's just using all the other classes. As long as you do lottos, you should be set. Seashells, dragon scales here. Ice eggs here. Not gonna lie, honestly like rulers more than alter egos and uh, moon cancers for leveling, just because they need even less mats. If they need more here, but these come from lottos. This comes from playing an event. Not even playing an event that hard. You can level four. Um, yeah, no, you can level four rulers from one event. Uh, four ruler five stars too. One event that gives you all of these, you can level five with them. Spawn CE and uh. Different version of the one OG Artoria has. 20%, 10% attack and 15% for damage for the party. I am not going to sit here and tell you to summon for Bunny Toria. Not until she gets that MP buff. Um, the card shuffling is nice in concept for a multi-core, but I don't think she's at that point. Now, if that idea I had where she's actually able to double pop this on the same turn and then force whoever she chooses to be the only cards on the field, then that's some good, that is some really good utility for multi-core. That's some super solid utility, but Bunny Toria would also have to be the farmer for that situation. He would have to be popping her MP at least. At least once, just because there's just like in order to re reduce cooldowns like that you're either using atlas or you're using bitch and most of the time people would prefer bitch because it's just another servant party cost might go up but at a certain point you just don't care anymore all right this bunny toria video was a bonus it was supposed to just be cl today but now it's bunny toria and cl uh other video about serving coins will be tomorrow. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.